Hey what's up guys this is Rob with Blame Rob Videos and today I'm going to go over the build I was using in our playthrough of Nightmare Difficulty for the wizard in Diablo 3. So this video actually comes as a response to a message that one of the viewers sent me on our channel and they were basically asking me about um, arcane power and how I manage my arcane power because whenever they play their wizard at the time they felt like they were running out of arcane power too quickly and so to answer their direct question from their message, uh, I use 120 arcane power. I'm level 48. I haven't changed my gear since uh, the playthrough two or three weeks ago. And, you know, the reason I want to show you my build is because I think it will help better answer the question of arcane power and how I manage my arcane power. So my build is focused around being efficient with my skills. And so I'll just go over it very quickly. You can see it on the screen. Um, Really, the bread and butter of the build it comes from the uh, 1, 2, 3, and 4 abilities that I'm using. I use Slow Time, I use Frost Nova, and I use Diamond Skin and Arcane Orb. And the combination of these skills brings out, I feel, brought out the most efficiency for my wizard during those videos. And so what happens is you open up with Di Diamond Skin to protect yourself. You run in there with, and you Frost Nova as soon as you run into a clump of monsters, and then you uh, throw down your slow time for extra damage, and then you spam Arcane Orb uh, as much as you can in order to basically wipe out that whole grouping of mobs. And so the reason I feel this works is because, number one, your Diamond Skin protects you. Prism reduces the casting costs of all your uh, spells while uh, Diamond Skin is still up. Frost Nova will stun everything around you so that you're still, you continue to be safe, nothing's hitting you or removing the Diamond Skin off you. You throw down slow time for more damage, 20% extra damage to all those mobs. And then Arcane Orb is just a generic AoE spell, which is great at close range because it's it comes out really, f well, it comes out fast. The projectile itself is slow, but if you're at point blank range, it just activates immediately and it does good damage for the arcane power cost. Uh, the rune I'm using increases the damage uh, to 20 yards, excuse me, increases the range to 20 yards. You can switch that out to obliteration, which is perfectly fine depending on the situation. And then once you start killing your mobs, uh, your cold snap, no, not cold snap, I'm sorry, I have the wrong rune. Shatter, I use shatter. So. Once you uh, start killing mobs, your shatter should proc and it should throw down another Frost Nova for increased stun and continuing. And what that does is it continues to make your wizard safe. And so I use this bread and butter combo primarily for groups of mobs. To deal with single targets, I use Magic Missile and Ray of Frost. Magic Missile is really good. It's a generic, long, it comes out fast. It, uh, it costs no arcane power, does decent damage. You can increase the damage with Charge Blast. You can uh, also use Attunement to recover your arcane power. Not bad choices. Um, I use Ray of Frost because it's cheap. It comes out fast. It's instant. It's long range. It's a tool that can use can be used to slow down mobs. It's also a decent uh, DPS attack for DPSing down a single target when you have the Snow Blast rune. So all of these skills together, uh, I felt were really flexible in managing, in dealing with uh, single targets as well as multiple targets. The passive skills help to uh, support that. So I have Evocation. And what that will do is it reduces the cooldown for your Diamond Skin, so you can be safe more often. Reduces the cooldown for your Frost Nova, so you can AoE stun more often and keep you and your party members safe. And also, uh, yeah, just keep you safe while you cast your Slow Time and Arcane Orb. And it also reduces the cooldown of your Slow Time because your your Slow Time has a much longer cooldown than the rest of your skills. It has twenty second. It has a twenty second cooldown as opposed to uh, you know the these are like. 10 or 15 seconds and it's noticeable when you when you're playing like your diamond skin and frost nova will be up but then your slow time won't be up so evocation really helps out a lot astral presence increases your arcane power by 20 uh, as well as regeneration by two uh, also very good because this allows you to spam more uh, instances of arcane orb uh, as well as just overall uh, allow you to cast more spells more often without running out of uh, arcane power. Cold Blooded is uh, selected as the last passive skill because you have a lot of uh, opportunity to have frozen opponents and do more damage. So uh, 
obviously Frost Nova freezes enemies, and obviously Ray of Frost does frost damage, but the beautiful thing about having Cold Blooded is that it doesn't matter what the damage type of the skill you're currently using is, all that matters is that the enemy is chilled and frozen. So your Frost Nova is going to freeze all of the targets around you, but your Arcane Orb is actually going to be doing more damage because those targets are frozen. And that's another reason I like this build is because of just the synergy and flexibility of this build. In addition, I like this build because it's simple. There's not a lot, there's not a whole lot going on here that's overly complicated. So a new player to Diablo 3 could pick up this build and run with it hopefully fairly easily, which is why I like this build. Again, I'm not saying it's the best build. I really don't think it is. I, my brothers have shown me that there are way better builds. They go for pure DPS. They really stack... Um, oh man, there's so many skills here that y will stack your damage. Like, I don't think my brother gets glass cannon. I forget what they stack, but I know there's... I think there's the... Let me see here if I can just look for it. There's the one where you power your sword. Magic weapon is one. I think the familiar also increases your weapon damage. And basically what they do... And then they summon a pet. They summon the Hydra, the Hydra that comes out of ground, and then they, I think they use Disintegrate or maybe Blizzard or something. So they use the Hydra with AOE damage, which is also very viable. So in any case, this is my build. Uh, I'll go ahead and show you a couple of quick examples of this build using the bread and butter combo. Um, uh, I'm playing on Nightmare difficulty currently on Act 3, so hopefully we'll get some chances to uh, show you that bread and butter combo. And so here's a decent group, it's an, only a group of four, but you run in with diamond skin. Oops, I messed up. So I will probably edit that out. But let me see if I can do this. So I'll clear, I'll clear these basic mobs first. The other thing is that uh, my brothers really play the auction house, so they're really, really geared. And so even at level 30, they're doing massive amounts of damage, so they don't need a flexible, thought-out utility build like this. They can just run in there and throw down their disintegrates and not have to worry about anything. And so that's just your basic combo. Took out all that whole grouping of mobs. Um, I'm actually kind of wondering... I should really increase my damage. But actually, maybe that's actually okay, because this is a good example of how even though so even though I don't have high damage or high yeah high damage on my attributes, it still does relatively uh, good against these mobs. And so you saw there just that single mob uh, got DPS down from the frost ray ray of frost. And so actually, why don't I show you what gear I'm using just so you can see it? So like, see, I don't even have a socket in this thing. I have vitality. I don't even have intelligence. I don't even know why I have vitality. I think I was whatever. I have vitality for some stupid reason on that. Uh, I have vitality. Why do I have vitality? I don't even have high intelligence. My intelligence is 630. My vitality is 460. So, I don't know. That amulet doesn't look too bad for a level 43. Vitality and intelligence. I think I was going to socket these. I think I took the, the gems out. I must have taken the uh, gems out. So, you can just see what I'm using. Why do I have strength? Oh, you know what? So, I'm... <laughs> I'm actually using XP gear, that's why it's like that. See, so I'm even using XP gear and it still does decent damage. So that's that's all it is, that's all my gear. And I have white, so she's very careful. See there, they just all instantly die. This build is viable for normal nightmare and hell difficulty. Once you get into Inferno, uh, it's a whole different ballgame. Uh, from what I've seen, I've seen people use uh, high damage skills. Um, you don't really go in there as much as a wizard like I was doing with the Diamond Skin and Frost Nova combo. Uh, I see people using Teleport, that's really required. Um, but basically Inferno... The wizard skills on Inferno difficulty are a lot more different than they are for uh, normal Nightmare in Hell. So I just want to throw that out there. Alright, thanks guys. Thanks for watching.